Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, it's so sunny. I apologize I didn't have a video yesterday, guys. I was working on another video and I'm not done yet because it takes forever to edit right now. <laughs> All this crazy footage, I'm telling you, I can't, the computer can't keep up. I have 16 gigs of RAM. I need like 32. It's nuts. 4K footage, it's crazy. Anywho, enough of the production stuff. Here's the lawn. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What is going on right now? See, when the sun comes out, so does the grass. Here, let's, let's, let's get a nice little close up. Oh. Oh. Yes. Don't get it twisted, Poppy. <laughs> Good job, Poppy. Herbicides are down. We're just waiting for maybe bleach, maybe some bleaching. I don't think it's gonna be bleached. It's usually bleaching is when you have the actual problems. Like if you have crabgrass, if you have nutsedge, it'll start turning white like pretty much instant. This right here is looking still pretty good. Here's Rick's, not bad. We planted the same seed as us in Rick's as well, but we overseeded, we didn't do a full reno. You can totally tell the difference between one grass type this is three cultivars like you guys know but for the new people that are watching that's why it looks so good there is a little bit of poa triv i can see it from a mile away but we just put down the progress see that triv popping up yeah that's not good so i know you guys are ready for this we got the soil test oh <laughs> yes sir Let's go to the backpack so we can talk it up. How you guys doing, huh? How you guys doing, huh? Hope you guys are doing well. A little bit about me right now. I have, an, I have a hip issue. It's on the outer hip. The hip hurts. <laughs> it's not good, but I'm, I'm gonna push through for now. If it gets bad, I'm gonna have to go in, MRI it up. I ain't weak. We're good. Delicious. Oh, back, back. Actionis. This has been a long time coming, my dudes. This has been a long... <laughs> While I find this, my buddy from high school hit me up. She was like, you popped up on my YouTube. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I, uh, I I do lawn channel YouTube shit. It's funny, like, you, you see those, some of your old friends, and some of them just look like they're 90 years old. And some of them look like they just passed 23. Like, good job motivates me to get my fat ass more in gear okay guys where is it at i'm gonna put everything on the screen as well where are you at bro there she is the main we've all wanted to see what the main's doing we had a comment the other day it said this guy's lawn has to be radioactive uh yeah it pretty much is so here is the soil sample results <laughs> I was worried about the boron. I told you guys that. I didn't know that the uh, manganese were, were, were kind of, we're just, it's like, okay. The thing though, that, that's hella funny. Do you see, do you see that? The phosphorus is obnoxiously high. And the good thing about that is our new products have no phosphorus in it. It's N and K, right? It's a lot of nitrogen a lot of potassium. We don't need phosphorus. So the thing about phosphorus is that can really destroy the local water. So I get why they're doing that, like no phosphorus, because it can really contaminate water, like the runoff. Am I happy that we got this oil test so we're not putting down a triple 18 or triple 16? And I guarantee you guys, if you've been following me, I swear you as well have high phosphorus levels. I guarantee it. We've been doing nothing but triple 18s, triple 16s, all that stuff. So maybe it is time to get a soil test. I kind of want to follow it just to see. Again, every time I follow a soil test, it just doesn't work out right. I had a soil test here in the backpack. I'm not following it. You know what I mean? We don't follow any rules back here. And look at this. This is, this is some grass. The backpack Kentucky 31 low key poops on the main first two seasons. This is years of experience dialed in, doing the same things we've been doing, not listening to anyone, not following directions on soil tests, and this is what we get. This also says, as I blabbed on, 
So our calcium is very high. What it's saying is we need to put down some lime. I already knew that. Instead of putting down some lime and waiting years for the pH levels to, you know, to get better, I'm gonna, I'm looking at this product. It's a liquid product and it's for farms. I gotta, uh, let me double check to see because it, it sounds like it helps with animals that eat the grass. It's a lot healthier because they're, 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 the lime, it's a liquid lime. So it's pretty much instant, instant pH results, which is cool. I'm gonna check that out. For the meantime, we're gonna go grab some Wilco lime. But other than that, we are pretty much set. We're gonna try out the no phosphorus because it's so high. But as you can see, I, was, I mean, we were pretty spot on. We are definitely doing luxury applications in our lawns. This is 100% a luxury. You don't need to put this much in your lawn. It, 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 it's, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Even if you did half of what I did, you would still demolish. You would still own whoever is in the lawn. You know what I mean? You don't have to put that much products down. I just like to see it, as homeboy said, radioactive. Come on guys, look at this. Here, let me zoom in for you. Look at that grass. I mean, come on. Look at that thickness. You know what I mean? Weed free. Shiny, <laughs> weed free, shiny. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. pH level 5.4 should be at six. So again, lime buffer pH 7.4. Oh yeah, the organic matter. Yeah, it's high, it's nice. I mean, that goes to show you, we are putting in a lot of organic matter in our stuff. I mean, whether that be malorganite, whether that be the compost to the soil that we put down, there's some good organic matter in there. Boron levels, nice and even. We've been, we've been on top of the boron. You guys have been seeing that. The past year, we've been applying that boron itself. Calcium's high, copper is not bad. Iron, through the roof, through the roof. Iron was expected, through the roof. Magnesium, through the roof, because every iron that we have besides Lawn Star has magnesium in it. I'm surprised the manganese is just even because we have a lot of manganese up in our stuff. Phosphorus levels, again, very high. Zinc levels, very high. A lot of our products have a ton of zinc in it. That's why we're seeing these, these high numbers. I see no lows. No, no, there's no low numbers here. This goes to show you. <laughs> <laughs> what a professional lawn. I mean, I'm I'm sure golf courses have this kind of same problem too. You know, it's like overly done because you have to. People are there every day trying to play. They'll probably tell you straight up, like these turf managers, they're like, oh yeah, everything's perfect. All our levels are perfect. Well, number one, there's so much science that goes into this. I don't want to be the guy that does all the science stuff on this channel. This is supposed to be fun. The science stuff is fun too, but it'll put your ass to sleep. So for instance, if you have like a high, high potassium levels, tests have shown if you just use potassium as an application, just a potassium source, it doesn't do much. Like, did you know that potassium maxes out at a certain point? It maxes out. Like you can put down as much potassium as you want. It doesn't matter. It'll max out and it, 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 won't, it won't go over that limit. There's a lot of stuff that you have to you have to worry about if you care about that kind of stuff. I don't really care about it. <laughs> I care about keeping a healthy lawn, making sure it's not brown, making sure there's no disease, making sure it's healthy. Okay, it's healthy right now. It's healthy. I'm telling you right now. Back, back. We don't follow the directions of that test. And I'm gonna soil test that as well. One of you guys, thank you so much. I think it was Clemson. Clemson does soil tests for like a couple bucks. You just have to put it in a plastic bag and then mark it, and then send it in with a check. I don't have checks, so I gotta go figure out that check situation. Here's my neighbor's lawn. He, uh, they just cut it the other day. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So. I'm gonna follow one thing off this. No more phosphorus for a second, just for a second, because number one, we're saving the, the water. Number two, let's just see what happens. So let's go to the recommendations. What do they recommend us to do? Annual treatment. Your treatment recommendations were calculated per 1,000 square feet. Number one, nitrogen per year, 2.53 pounds of nitrogen. I pumped those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Now, are they basing that off of the fact that we have a crap load of nitrogen right now? I mean, doesn't nitrogen gas off over time? 
potash. 1.38 pounds of potash. Again, potash, potassium. <laughs> We're just gonna keep doing what we do. We have the 14014. We have the 2700. We have our micronutrients. We're gonna keep doing the borons. We're gonna keep doing all the man the manganeses. We gotta get, get all that going right. At the end of the day, guys, what we're doing works. You can see. Very high, I'll take it. <laughs> Very high, hmm. it's like nba type stuff right it's like professional level in the nba right now our levels are very high right so we're not we're not sitting on the bench we're starting five we're nba all-star game a lot of these people here are just watching in the stance that's how i think about it i am mamba mentality right now but are you a different animal and the same beast what the f does that mean kobe bryant you're welcome I'm thinking like the pros do. Do you want average levels in your lawn? I mean, a turf management guy will say yes, absolutely. <laughs> For me, the grass clippings yield, I want it very high. <laughs> I don't mind cutting up all that grass. You know what I'm saying? I want it so high that I'm cutting every day. Am I being selfish? Yeah, who cares? Who's not selfish, right? Who's not selfish? This is for fun. It makes me happy to see my lawn full. You know, I'm taking care of it. I want it full. I want it thriving. I want it crazy looking. I want people to, the jaws to drop. I love the front and how it looks right now with these soil test results. I am worried if we stop the phosphorus, something will happen because when I did that back here, it started going dormant. So again, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt, because right now we are pro level. We're doing it. I never heard Michael Jordan say, you know, be average. Just, 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 just go, no, no. He went, shoo, you know, shoo. It's a lot, it's a lot. I wanted to come out here and go over the soil test results, but now I'm just talking, I'm just proud of the results. I know you guys are probably itching to see what you're, like for some of you guys have been following me for since the beginning, get that soil test results and send it into me. I wanna see, I bet you it's the same as ours. If you're putting down the same stuff as us, it's the same. I'm gonna fall for now. I don't want the runoff to go in, too much phosphorus, I get it, I get it. I'm pretty sure that's exactly, uh, like I said, that's exactly why the Home Depot drop of the Simple Lawn Solutions has no phosphorus is because of that whole water situation. You know, clean water, all that good stuff. And I get it, let's try that out. At the end of the day, we're out here to have fun. Obviously you can tell I'm having fun. It's just a fun situation. I'm out here, the grass is looking great. It looks like it's end of spring, about to be summer and we're supposed to be watering. We're not even close to spring yet. It's like uh, two weeks. Freaking phenomenal. You know what I like too is the episodes where I'm talking, you guys can respond, right, in the comments because I wanna know your soil test. I wanna know what, what's going on with you guys too. That way we can, you know, we're sharing our experiences, we're sharing different products, we're sharing what we should be doing, what, should be, what, we, should, what we shouldn't be doing. We're out here just having fun. You know, we're, it's, it's stress-free, everything's green. You're seeing a lot of these YouTubers come out, all their shit's brown. <laughs> It went dormant, you know, and we're, I mean, yeah, I, I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm in Pacific Northwest, but at the same time, so is this guy. And that looks like every YouTuber's lawn right now. I'm just saying, I'm <laughs> Pacific Northwest. I mean, you know. <laughs> The smart thing to do would be take a take a break today. Because pushing a mower plus edging, because I want to edge. I want to edge really bad. It's getting bushy. But, you know, this motion with the hip and then this. Shoot. It's like I'm making excuses, but I'm not. I'm just trying to be smart about it. I want to be out for the season because of a stupid hip issue. One of you guys emailed me. Poa Cures for sale. Poa Cures for sale. You can buy it now. I go to the website. Still for golf. Golf supers. <laughs> Definitely not for residential. I've tried. I know someone who has it, but he won't share because he says he has Poa next to his tree. <laughs> if you're watching, my dude, give me some, please. I told you. I'll buy some. <laughs> 
Oh, hell yeah. You can tell it's, it's coming. Spring is coming because I'm getting allergies. And this stupid, this is why, okay, everyone's like, pressure wash your stuff. Guys, I pressure wash twice a year. It's just not time. Look, you still have to go through this process. These little red things. Right? And then the dreaded white fuzzies get everywhere. That's a mess. I'm gonna fix this soon. I usually start fixing this the moment we can water again, right? The moment we turn on the sprinklers, you can tell the tulips are about to pop off. But you see how ugly it is? I don't fix that until, until we turn the water on. Once the water's on, everything starts looking nice. Yeah, this is getting a lot of moss too. Black moss because we're, you know, preventing, but we still need a verticut. A lot of work to be done. A lot of work to be done. You guys go through that too? In your head, you're like, oh, I should do it, or I shouldn't do it, but you want to do it. Like, I really want to mow right now. I'm procrastinating because what kind of video is this if we don't mow? What kind of freaking video is this if we don't mow? Should we just let Luba out and roam free? <laughs> you don't think I've set Luba up all the perimeters, back, back, backyard, main, sidewalk strips? I've done it all. It's nice and sunny. I'm gonna mow it up. Screw it. Executive decision as well. The sidewalk strips are gonna be level two from now on. Level one, too short, not level. Main lawn, we're still gonna be at three quarters to an inch. This is gonna be also level two. A little bit taller on the outskirts of the property. Yeah, we can we can knock out some stuff. Screw it. All right, nice chat, guys. Let's get to mowing. Let's get to mowing. Just a, just a little mow.
Bravo, preparing for takeoff. Yankee Bravo, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger that. That ain't no f sign to do something. That's my that's my number, by the way. That's my number three three three. By five three three three. Three 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 is pretty much like keep going, do your thing, go with your gut. But what's by by five what? I gotta buy five something now. Oh my gosh, I know what to buy. Sally, what's up? I wanna go buy one mega million. Buy one for you. No, I already buy one. We'll buy one. Six, I, I, $650, uh, $650 million. Mega millions. It looks like we're gonna be doing this store venture real quick. I know it's not lawn related, but hey, it was right in front of our face. You can't get any more crazier than that. You really can't. That that was that's a sign and a half. Everyone's like, ooh, yard bro's going off the deep end. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Would I tell anyone? No. Would there be signs? Absolutely. There would be some major signs. I'm not building a golf course on my at my property. I'm building a golf course. So this is my take on that because Sally told us Mega Million the other day. Remember in the video. Then it said buy five, three, three, three. So I have five of the Mega Millions three dollar tickets five three dollar tickets you know sometimes you just have to be all superstitious and, and funny like that because sometimes that works out in life <laughs> someone's gonna be like yard bro this is the gambling anonymous phone number please please do me a favor and call it i don't want a movie star you don't have to win the lotto oh. What's another sign, yo? Give me another sign. Give me another sign, please. <laughs> that was fun. Lon's looking right, looking tight, looking sharp, looking sharp. <laughs> A very fantastic voyage. <laughs> I need to bust out my bow staff for for a cane should i bust out the bow staff for a cane let's see what it looks like look like gandalf the gray oh it does help though it does help well when are, when are you guys gonna thicken up huh perennial right when is when is thickening up time 
Ooh, I like this cane. That actually helps. It looked like house. <laughs> Dad said some landscaper stopped by and asked to meet me because he wants to know what I'm doing because everyone else's lawn is moss filled and we're over here looking like a golf course. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, duh. If you see that in your landscaper, you're like, what the hell? How is this guy doing this right here? And it's not even season yet. Well, yeah, that one, I, I just want to like hook them up really bad. I really want to hook them up really bad. If your guys' lawn looks like that, I'll tell you right now, all it needs is a dethatch, a really good dethatch, like the rake. Pick it all up, fertilize. In April, you overseed, and it's a brand new lawn. I'm guessing that is the same grass. It's the same sod. It's been living because they've cut it regularly. But at the end of the day, it needs some rejuvenation. It needs some, it just needs something. So next time I see him, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell him what's up. I'm be like, hey, can I just hook you up real quick? I don't wanna mess with the landscapers, what he's doing, you know, like the mowing schedule, but I should be able to fix it before the mowing schedule happens. I think they come out every two weeks. This is just something else. I'm not using the mic today because I, I really need, I'm just gonna wait for that piece because I'm sick of it not syncing up. So let's go back to old audio for now. Check out these crispy lines. Oh, son. Oh, son. So far, so good on the tenacity. We don't got much. We got POA though. We got major POA. I'm really like not looking forward to this POA. I have faith in the progress, but at the same time, it's like, you can see it popping up like lime green and I really don't like it. Okay, let's bust out some insecticide. Let me grab the spreader. Kind of works. I notice if I don't bend over as much, it helps. If I don't squat. Four pounds per thousand, four per thousand, 1,500, six pounds. Sweep this up too. This has been bugging me in the videos. God. That's better. moss right there. So I'm gonna verticut it real quick. Just a quick, quick verticut because I can't have that moss just suffocating the location. Damn, this is a full on episode of its own. The moss is just crazy don't worry about messing it up because you don't want the moss the grass will grow but that moss will stay there all freaking season long we do not want that let me bag this up real quick level one on the ego
Getting moss over here too. Getting moss. As you can see, there was some material that came up. So we're gonna verticut here soon. I just need that moss to go away. So verticut the moss. I'm gonna spray two ounces of liquid iron just on the outskirts and the sidewalk strip. I mean, this is what you gotta do sometimes it's on the fly. You, you know, you, you, you try to plan everything, but then you see stuff, you gotta knock it out quick or else it'll bite you in the ass later. It'll bite you in the ass later. Okay, let's grab the liquid iron. Okay. So I put in two ounces of the Simple Lawn Solutions Iron, and I put one ounce of the 2700. Let's just spray this area. We'll verticut very soon. It, it, some material came up, so that could wake everything up as well. We haven't verticut in what? Over a month. Let's do it. that moss gets lime green, you're screwed. <laughs> you are screwed. You have a long way to go. I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not bad. We got that taken care of. Still looking good. I'm telling you, it's the little things like that, like the preventative maintenance. Yeah, you, you scarified a little bit. Can you even tell? No. We can tell. We know what's going on. Okay, the back yard, I'm trying to avoid stepping on the path because it's getting jacked up. You can tell. Too much of my big ass walking around on it. This is getting really, really rough. See? It's like, please, sir. Please, sir. Can we please get some sand? <laughs> Can we please get some sand, sir? Damn, dog. This needs a verticut. I'm verticut. I'm, I'm going to do this tomorrow. That's the episode tomorrow. 100% verticut. Verticut. And you know what? It's really getting. I think this drain again is messing up. Kentucky bluegrass is weird. <laughs> So it was about that French drain, as we noticed. Once we verticut all this nasty out and then give it a good fertilization, a little bit of iron, we should be good to go back here. Let's check out our situation in the back back before we sign off. I'm telling you, this might be another episode in its, its own. Please don't be poopy. Thank God. I think people are starting to realize now that don't be pooping back here. You know what I mean? Let's just keep it nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, this was an episode on its own. Shit. I tell you, there's stuff you can do every day. I love it. I freaking love it. Well, my dudes, thanks for tuning in. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a separate episode or what and release two videos in one day. I probably won't do that, but we'll just put all in one and then we're caught up. And then tomorrow we'll get out here in the back. It's in dire need of a aeration, some dethatching. If it's raining, who cares? I really don't care. I just need to do it. It's gonna be, is it gonna be messy? 100%, but it needs to be done because I'm not trying to catch, play catch up in the backyard. It is pretty crazy back there, so. All right, my dudes, you guys are awesome. Thanks for tuning in. This should be, this will be in the video for sure. Just one video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. And you guys are awesome. <laughs>